In this video, I'll be walking you guys through exactly how I edited this photo in Lightroom. Now, the very first thing we are going to be doing here is obviously importing the photo to Lightroom and you want to um, make reference to your before photo through the whole edit. This way, you're able to know how far off you are from the original image. I'm going to be leaving the white balance as it is. One thing I like to do is not adjust the white balance too much and just try to edit every other thing first. Then from there, I know if I'm going to be editing the white balance or if I'm going to be leaving it. But for now, we're going to be leaving the white balance balance as it is for this image first thing i'm going to do here is adjusting the exposure the highlights as well the shadows every basic parameter right here and then the blacks i don't really like to touch the blacks too much the whites and blacks are something i always like to leave on its own unless i really have to edit it for the clarity i try not to keep it more than 10 and for vibrance we can add a little, very little bit of vibrance here so for the contrast we're going to be reducing the contrast so that way, you see what happens when we, when we reduce the contrast here. That way, some parts of like our skin are more visible here. You can see before and after. Reducing the contrast helps bring out more details in the image, bringing the highlights back down a bit. And then, as usual, we make reference to our before image to see how far off we are here. So far, I've been able to bring out some of the detail right there to make sure that our skin is showing more visibly and everything else is good. Along the line, we could probably come back to the basic adjustment, but we're going to move further to the tone curve. Still doing the basic adjustments here. I'm going to try lifting the blacks up a bit. We're going to be adjusting the shadows a little bit here. We're going to be lifting it up a little bit just to bring back some of those details as well. And for the mid-tones, try not to do too much there. Then the highlights, we can bring it down here, a bit here. And we're going to be moving over to the red channel. And then we're going to be bringing down the highlights here. You can see what that's in here. We're adding a little bit of blue in the highlights. You can see that if we go up here, it's going to be moving over to the red. And if we go down here, it's going to be bringing more blues to the highlights. So we're going to be leaving it as it is. Remember to check it before and after. You can see what the tone cover has done so far. So over to the blue channel, I don't really like the adjustment to the uh, green channel here. I usually like to skip that because I don't really like to add purples or greens to my image that much. But for the blues, one thing I like to do here is um, bring down the shadows here. This brings in a little bit of that yellow to the shadows. Try not to do it too much, just keep it as subtle as possible. I decided I'm going to reduce the saturation a bit here. For the HSL, I'm going to be reducing a lot of these colors here, like the yellows. I'm trying to not to let way too many colors be here, the yellows, maybe the saturation of the greens a little bit. And then moving on to the hue, I'll probably just adjust the blues. You can see what that does that, into the background here. That's what that's in here. Adjust the blues a little bit. And then for the saturation, we're going to, I think we're going to leave everything else as this. I always check the before and check the after. I'm trying not to let the greens be too shouts in the image so that we can stand out more. I'm going to reduce the greens by a little bit more again. Onto the color grading. This is where most of the changes are going to be made here to define the look of the image. We're going to move the hue to 34. Saturation, keep that for. I usually like making my shadows as close to the skin tones as possible. For the mid tones, this is where the playing around kind of begins. For the mid tones, I try not to be too far off from the yellow. You could keep it around here and then reduce the saturation to maybe like 10. Then you check out the before and after and see what does into the mid tone. So this before and this after. This has added another look to the image that I think I like. So we're going to reduce it a little bit more by like seven. For the highlights, this is what, I, what another thing I like to do is just move it around a bit and try to see what I really like the most. So for the highlights, try to keep the figures a little bit higher. Let's keep it around 10. The higher the number is obviously how intense it wants to be. So, so far, so good. The image right now is definitely as good as it is. So, we're going to do a few touches to this. I'm going to reduce the saturation a little bit. Let's say make it 14. Increase the sharpening a bit. I try not to keep it more than 50. And then over here, we're going to be enabling 
the profile corrections as so like fixing the distortions that have been caused by the lens for the vignettes with the adding this bit of vignette the, the reason why i'm reducing the vignette here is to make them stand out more for the calibration i try not to keep the calibration figures more than 20. i'm going to move the blue primary over to the opposite side just to keep them each of them around the same range so that nothing is too much i'm going to reduce the saturation a little bit on each of them what i did here as a very very little touch of that orange and teal look this is a really quick process and now i did my dark skin portraits and what i really like to do with them after you have done all of the color grading one thing that i would advise you to do sometimes is you could always go back to the basic adjustments here and one thing that i can do is adjust the shadows um every other figure here so that you could figure out if there's anything that was excess or if there's any way it could look better and I've done every mini adjustment I have to do and also made reference to the before image. So you can see right here, this is the before, this is the after of this image. If you want an even quicker way to edit your photos, you can always click the link in the description below where you can get my presets. See you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.